Many of us in the world of customer communication management are trying to answer the big question. How do I have a better discussion with my customer? Part B of that question is often using my well-established and reliable document distribution channel. That story has a lot of chapters with a lot of possible endings. I'm pretty sure we've all heard of or been part of projects that go like this. The creative guy, he'll look at the document as it is and dream up, how could this be? Graphics, color, personalization, compelling bold placement of key elements in different places. Application guy says, sure, I can move some things around, change the layout, reconfigure the document. I may need this tool or this data flow change or that resource to do it right, but I can do it. The IT guy says, hey, no problem. Computing power is cheap. Of course, all the components will need to comply with all of the standards for IT deployment contained in this 72-page document. Then there's that additional software usage cost. Ah, we'll just charge that back to somebody. The production guy looks at the creative application and IT team and says, great, cool new document. But in order for me to produce it, I'll need this device running in this format to handle that application and that speed to keep my production engine in sync. And by the way, I'll also need to make a few changes to my production hardware to effectively handle the changes in pages page size, orientation, whatever else is impacted by the first set of decisions. hope it doesn't increase my postal budget. And the finance guy just keeps muttering, how much? As we design the Brilliant Communication Award, we recognize that any number of these factors can determine your customer communication strategy. We've taken our best shot at recognizing both the efforts and the outcomes, so as you consider submissions, think about the outcome, but also think about the discussions and decisions that went into the project. Was it the creative team that connected the dots of message and medium? Did your operation guy crack the code, delivering a more efficient and effective delivery channel? Maybe your infrastructure team connected the technologies that enabled a better multi-channel strategy to deliver the message in more customer accessible ways. Or maybe it was the finance guy whose interesting doodles in the white space of your beautifully articulated strategy document set off the white space trans promo CCM synapses. Yeah, okay, maybe that one's a bit of a stretch, but it certainly would be a brilliant communication.